Hi guys, it's Sandra from the Inspired Keyboardist and today I'm just going to do a really quick tutorial of um, Hillsong's, this I believe, bracket the creed. And um, so I'm just going to show you the process of how I learned this song by myself. Um, did not look at chord charts because I um, usually listen and then try and figure out the chord by listening and analyzing and breaking it down, playing lots of wrong things and then of course figuring out that, okay, this chord is made out of what? So a lot of this is like personal flavor and personal um, decisions on chords. So let's get started. This is the introduction. And so it's high registers. I'm just on full concert brand. This is my Yamaha Motive XS6. And um, I've come to figure out that it's at quite a bit of a high register. So how do you know it's here? You want to listen to the pitch and make sure that it matches. But like this, this would be my middle C. The middle C is easy to recognize because it's something that you're probably able to sing. This is a bit too low. La, la, too high. So there we go. So that's middle C. So you want to start from the F above the middle C and it goes. So what you want to do with these chords is that the first, there, there are two chords because you can hear that. They play it twice, but you want to hear the you want to play the first one louder, and the second one a bit softer. So, a lot of it goes into tone and control, which really boils down to having strong fingers and, and technique exercises, and all that really comes in handy because you can control the tone. So you really don't want to be like harsh and soft, like like that's totally wrong. So you want to feel and get the best tone that you can produce. So here we go. the second one's a little echo. So I'm just gonna go ahead and play along with the recording. Vocals come in, move an octave lower to this zone, this middle register. We want to keep things really simple, just one chord, one chord, no patterns, no figurations whatsoever. crescendo onto it as well. That's what I 
could. So that's why I limited my top most note for all of those chords to be E, G, E, G, C, A, and um, that's just a personal preference. I heard it, I tried to catch it, so that was my choice. So, um, but at the same time, I was trying to juggle between that and um, supporting with most of the harmony. Um, this is, of course, assuming that you have no one else playing with you or very little big band people. If you have lots of people supplying this part, then just don't play those and just figure out, uh, just even um, splurge with two hands doing and then change pedal. You could go ahead and do that because people are doing this part for you, but if you're doing it by yourself, um, I decided to fill it in with the middle portion with a bit of accompanimental chords, so that's why I was jumping around like... with the bass drum and the basses and I am pounding with each of those pounds I'm actually doing a crescendo so I'm not just doing a I'm actually doing a so there's a whole lot of control going on there that makes a lot of difference please try that just do um, octave runs and figurations. Thanks for watching this video!